Today I am going to solve activity 2.8. In question number 1 you have been asked that at the moment Jane can only receive encrypted documents from Tom. Describe what would need to happen for Jane to be able to send encrypted documents back to Tom. The situation right now is this. Jane can only receive encrypted documents from Tom. Encrypted documents are those who have the public key applied to them. Uh, now, uh, if Jane um, also wants to send messages to Tom, he also needs this public key to apply the encryption uh, on, their, on his documents. So, he would also need a public key on his site in order to be applied to the documents in order to encrypt the documents. So, the answer is this. Jane also needs a public key from Tom in order to encrypt the documents. Uh, in question number two, you have been asked that explain why this method is much more secure than symmetric encryption. The answer is this, that in this type of uh, encryption, which is also called as asymmetric encryption, this is more secure because it makes use of two keys. One is the public key and the other one is the private key. The private key rem uh, remains there with the recipient. It is not sent over the internet. So that is why this is a more secure method of communication. Thank you.